What's up, y'all? So, I'm back. We're back for the final season, final betrayal, the final episodes of Power. I'm reviewing this season slash recapping. Y'all, it's y'all know it's Sunday when I got my hair wrapped in my wrap. It's a new one I got from H&M. I stayed up to watch it last night. Um, I'm doing this review now because I had my um, audition this morning. You know, it went pretty okay. And then I came back here and he took like a nap before I came in and recorded this. So just a heads up, power is going to be split in half. Basically, we're getting the first 10 episodes from now until October, if I'm calculating right. Um, I'm trying to calculate this overall five, six. Probably to the end of October, early November, probably with the whole scheduling, unless we don't have any breaks. But yeah, let's just get into this review. First of all. Who said y'all can change the theme song? Who said y'all can change the theme song to Trey Shanks? Bring back Joe. Bring back Joe, okay? I don't care if Trey owes 50 money or he's trying to pay for Noah's child support. That's his son. Y'all need to change it back next week because I ain't here for it. I was looking forward to hearing the theme song all day. And then I click on the video for y'all to basically just put the whole new thing. This is a big rich town. I'm like, no. That this is a big rich town. I was waiting on that. Y'all need to change it next week. But moving on. <laughs> so we open up with Angela in the ambulance clinging to life and Jamie right next to her. And I literally said while the theme song was playing, watch us open up and Angela's in the ambulance. And where'd we open up? She in the ambulance. They rush her in. Jamie tries to go with her. They're like, are you the husband? He's like, no. He's like, you gotta stay here. And then he gets straight into questioning by the cops. And they question him. They're basically trying to intimidate him. Basically, he's like, you seem pretty close to Angela with all that blood on you. I'm like, y'all didn't find a gun on him. I mean, what, what made you think of it? So he's in a waiting room for God knows how long. And then we see Angela's sister Paz walk out. Literally, I knew she was gonna go off <laughs> regardless. She ran and was like, Mada, Mada, you killed my sister. And it's the same person. I keep forgetting her sister was on Orange to New Black. I forgot, y'all. My goodness. And that moment, goes making that face was me when I realized Angela, Angela's dead. I was so happy, y'all. I'm sorry. I knew she was going to die this season. Even though I love Lena Horn. Girl, I love the actress, but the character of Angela, she had to go. And to all y'all saying that Angela deserved better and that she didn't deserve to die, Angela got herself into her, this mess, okay? First of all, she slept, first of all, she got off a married man. Second of all, she found he was a drug dealer. The drug dealer that she was looking for in the main case still was involved in him. And then covered up for Tariq when he decided to be all gangster and kill Ray Ray. And now, here we are. She dead. And she the, she had to be Captain Save a Boo. She didn't have to be Captain Save a Boo and jump in front of the bullet. A ghost could have made it. He's been shot before. He could have survived, okay? Ghost has nine lives the same way as Kane. Well, actually, no. Not the same way as Kane. Ghost got a good, like, seven. Seven left, so, yeah. But, yeah, Angie dead, y'all. Angie dead. <laughs> I thought Ghost was going to be hella damaged and devastated, but he kept it together that whole time. He just kept pacing and walking. Also, he kept thinking about all the moments of him and Angela. Like, oh my god. Um, fun fact, if y'all watched the after show with Terrence J, um, Lena Horne, 50 Cent, and one of the writers are actually there. Angela was, Angela was supposed to die episode one of season five. Why, why didn't we just go ahead with that? Like, what? Why do we have to drag that on? Like, damn. But dang, y'all, Angela is dead. Angela is dead, y'all. It's been a whole, what, 18 hours? And I'm still just... <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I've been so satisfied with character deaths lately. Okay, I just got through for 13 reasons why Bryce and Monty died. Thank God. And now Angela died. Whew. And just, I feel so much better. feel so much better. Then we get Tommy and, and Tasha. Basically, Tasha's like, "What do you mean you try to cut? You shot Angela." She was like, "I missed." And basically, she finds out that he tried to kill Ghost. She's like, "What the f? Why are you trying to do that?" He's like, "He made me kill my dad." And she's like, "I don't care. Y'all need to get it together. You're not gonna kill the father of my children." <laughs> like, and Tommy's like, "After all the mess he put you through, why are you defending him? Because he's the father of my children." <laughs> like. <laughs> As much as Tasha hates Ghost, that's that's the that's the father of her children. Okay, they don't want him growing up without a daddy. I mean, I get that, man. And then 
Tommy calls Keisha to basically come and get the the weapon, and basically, she throws it in the river towards the end of the episode. I'm like, you know they're gonna find that, right? You know they're gonna find that, right? Keisha annoys, still annoys me. I love Lala, but Keisha just annoys the f out of me. Then we cut to the Justice Department. They're finding out Angela died. They're basically playing the blame game on each other. I'm like, sex, sex. You told Proctor that there was a witness. Then you told Tommy, go set him up to kill his father. And then, which led to the uh, wrap-up of events to where, basically, Tommy was trying to kill Ghost, but Angela jumped in front of the book. So it's your fault. Like... <laughs> I'm just like, dang. And now Sack is on a whole mission to find out who killed Angela. Basically, to put Ghost in jail for good. And he goes to the hospital. I think Angela hasn't even been dead an hour yet. Goes to Ash Pass. They can do an autopsy. She's like, heck no. Y'all turned their backs on her and basically left her hanging out to dry. And now you want to mutilate my sister's body? I'm like, <laughs> go ahead. Give her the Emmy. Give her the Emmy. Because that is some dramatic acting right there. Whoo! Tom gets back to his place. Ooh, my throat. Ghost jumps him. They have an actual fight fight where, like, you're scared that they're trying to kill each other. Then Tariq walks in. I'm like, Tariq, why are you here? You're supposed to be at school. What do you mean? He picks up the gun, and basically he's like, Tommy, Ghost, what the F you doing? And basically he's like, Kate ain't part of family no more. He's like, set the F up, Ghost. I'm like, boy, Ghost, in five seasons, that's what pisses me off. I know it's TV, but in five seasons... Y'all have refused to whip this boy's ass. I swear. I'm like, put the mother effing gun down. What? You trying to be a hood? Mm -hmm. Basically, him, basically, they're just at odds at this point. We already know this. Sass confronts Proctor. What's going down? Basically, he tries to, uh, you're the one that told Ghost what happened. It's like, me? No. You're the one that basically told me. So, Basically, it's basically your fault. And I'm like, Proctor, where to turn around? Okay. We get back to the Justice Department, and Tamika got fired because they needed the fall guy for what happened to Angela. I'm like, y'all gonna fire the black girl? Really? And then they replaced him with the old white guy who um played Charlotte's husband on Sex and the City. Harry. I can't remember his name, but he is a he is a pain in the butt. He takes no BS. He's ready to fire Sax on the spot because he's the one that leaked um the witness informant who was Maria from way 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 in episode one of the series that her fiance got murdered and basically she's testifying she said to testify against ghosts now I don't know if we're gonna see her or is she gonna die I don't know but pff, no we don't know we can never tell with this show then we see Blanca in his office she wants to put together a task force to find out who killed Angela and basically He's like, are you sure you can handle this? He's like, you think you can handle this? I'm like, okay, I guess we're getting the whole team together. Tasha finds Tariq walking out the store. He's pissed that he's, that she tied his phone. And she's like, don't talk back to me. I'm your mama. I'm like, finally, you you really actually took some goddamn parenting. She tells him that Angela's dead. And he's like, good, she ruined our lives. She's like, no, she didn't. Ghost ruined our lives. She saved your ass from going to jail for killing Ray Ray. And I'm like, Tasha, you remorseful? I, I guess since he put her job on the line to help Tariq not go down for the murder, you know, I'm basically she's feeling something. Okay, because she was not feeling something when Ghost told her. <laughs> she wasn't feeling anything when Ghost told her that she's like dead dead because she called up to the office and basically her and Ghost are going back and forth. He's like, he's like, Tommy killed Angela. She's like, well, that's what you get for making him kill her dad. He's like, why would you, she's like, why would you do that? It's like, because he was going to snitch on me. I'm like, he was good. He was gonna snitch on Tommy, but he wanted to snitch on you. And then he gonna say, you know, he killed the love of my life. I'm like ghost, ghost. After all the mess you put Tasha through, the probably 15 plus years y'all been together, she helped you build this freaking empire, gave you three kids, and one of your children died because of the mess you made. You're going to go ahead and say that? I'm like, wow, Tasha slap him, slap him, Tasha slap him. And she's like, you know what? I'm done it. I want a divorce. I'm like, girl, finally, you better get half of all of it because I'm pretty sure they didn't have a prenup when they got married. Then we get Tommy meeting up with old dude. Basically, he tells him like, yeah, it's done. I killed Ghost when he really did it. He gives him the check and old dude's like, I'm just going to wait till this check clears. 
for you to get your shipment. And he goes back to his crew. They're making fun of him for having a black eye for when he got in a fight with Ghost. And basically, Tommy's trying to run shots. And then, oh, Poncho just keeps yapping, yapping, yapping. And then he says the wrong thing, saying, you can't ever be like Ghost. Tommy shoots him blank in the head. I'm like, Tommy, you are going rogue right now, bro. Like, th you can't be doing stuff like this. This is how, this isn't how leaders operate, okay? This is how leaders basically self-destruct. And I feel like Tom is going to self-destruct this season. So then we get Keisha at home and Cash. This is the first time we see Cash at all in this, though. And I'm guessing you're going to see a lot of him this season. So this is the last one. Basically, he's like, hey, you hanging out with Tommy? I kind of like it. I'm like, okay, you know about Tommy. He, tries, he goes in his mom's purse to get some lunch money. Now, first off, do y'all ever just go in your mom's purse without like permission? I mean, I only go in there because she asked me to get something for her. Other than that, I don't be looking in there. Ta Keisha is still hiding the gun. She's like, no, don't touch it, don't touch it, don't go in my purse. She's like, he's like, okay, sorry, damn. And she's like, what'd you say? I'm like, you see, this is the difference between Tasha and Keisha's parenting. Keisha ain't afraid to whoop his behind. And he gonna go ahead and ask, like, can I still get waffles though? <laughs> God. We get. Tommy and Tariq on the roof. They're about to dump Kanan's ashes. And Tommy gets some of it before he dumps it out and puts it on his blunt. I'm like, really? Tommy, really? He's like, this is Kanan and Kush. I'm like, no. It's like they do it for Pac. I'm like, no. No. I didn't even know they did that for Pac. Why? No. That ain't right. And then they get to talking how basically... Ghost ain't ish, and Tommy's like, "What do you how do you feel about something happen that bad happened to him?" He's like, "Nothing." I'm like, "Damn, to read this, how far you gone? This how far gone you are?" Then we got Tasha having dinner for mom, and y'all, I watched the first um, couple of episodes of season one before I watched the um, the first episode for season six. Tasha's mom ain't crap. Tasha's mom ain't crap. Literally, she hated Ghost. For opening the club, basically him providing for the family. He's like, all them girls around there, basically he gonna miss a chance. And then literally jump to here, she's like, now that Angela's finally gone, maybe you two can patch up things. I'm like, first of all, man, a woman just died. A woman just died. What makes you think I'm happy about that? I swear, this family's so messed up. Second of all, at the odd is Ghost put her through, she ain't going back to him. Heck no. And she's like, what are you gonna do? You don't have a job. Or fall back. I'm like, your Tasha's mama is one of those mothers that just belittles their daughters with, no matter what they do, they just belittle them. And literally, I'm like, weren't you living with your daughter? Like, it, what skills you got, ma'am? And basically, she tells her, I think Terry's dead and I think Ghost killed her. She's like, well, what do you expect? You think it's going to let you go? And Tasha's like, I'm going to be fine. I got my own revenge. And best believe Tasha is going to bring ghosts down okay because in the preview for next week they're in seen in front of divorce lawyers and she's demanding for half of everything which makes me think that they ain't got no prenup meaning that she's gonna get half of everything and i don't know if um the club is still in ghost's name so i don't know how long dre is gone but we didn't see dre in this episode maybe we'll see, i'm thinking we're gonna see him in episode three because he wasn't in the preview at all not uh, not Knox. Proctor meets with Ghost. Ghost was gonna like whoop Proctor's ass, and basically, he tells her that he tells him that Tommy was the one that shot Angela, and basically Proctor's like, look, you have to go in and turn yourself in now, rather than go on the run, just to basically clear your name, basically somewhat to prove to someone an instance because you didn't kill her, Tommy did. He's like, we gotta turn in Tommy. He's like, I'm not turning in Tommy. I'm putting him in the ground. So Ghost wants Tommy dead at this point. He turns himself in. During this whole interrogation thing, they're trying to instigate and push Ghost to basically go off. But the fact that he was so composed <laughs> just shows how in grief, how much grief he's in. I'm like, damn, he really, because we're used to seeing Ghost go off at any given moment. But he was just so calm and composed. I'm just like, dang, this, dang, Angie got you struck even in death. Oh, both, all new guy basically pulls up on Proctor at his daughter's recital. Basically saying that he needs to work with them to take down Ghost. Basically kind of threatens his job and his family, basically, overall. And, you know, he's going to be annoying at times. I think old dude's going to die and Proctor probably might flip and go into Witsack just to protect his daughter at this point. Oh, I forgot to mention that Tasha was trying to find Terry, goes to his job. Basically, 
she basically the receptionist said like they have, the family hadn't seen him in a couple of days. They found missing persons, and that makes her think even more that Terry is dead. She still listened to his voicemails and just I'm just like Tasha, you must have really loved him. Like goddamn, I know you were lonely, but gosh, I didn't know you loved him that much. So those and Tariq are on the phone. Tariq trying to seem rem- like you know try to give his greet his you know condolences about Angela the ghost. Ghost gets out the phone, sees Tommy's car when he's about to leave the new guy's place. Now, here's the thing. I knew Tommy wasn't going to be in that car because that was just too easy. Ghost takes a machine weapon, because I know I'm going to get flat for mentioning it. Um, machine weapon is basically Bonnie and Clyde hold up style shoot shoot at it. Like, literally, y'all ever seen Bonnie and Clyde, the picture of their car getting shot up? That's what Tommy's car looked like. But what he didn't know is that old dude put one of his men in the car to basically take the hit because he knew Ghost was going to come after Tommy. Tommy literally looking at this as like, what if it was the, Me- the Mexicans or what if it was like the cartel? And literally, I'm like, Tommy, how can you be so stupid? Of course it was Ghost. You killed Angela. You think he was going to get over it? No. He gets back to Keisha's. Basically, he, he tells her everything. And basically, she's, he's ready to send her and Cash away. And he's just like, if you're going to do this and take out Ghost, then I'm going to be here to help you. I'm like, Keisha, you're going to die. You're going to die. She's going to die before the mid-season finale in October. Or on during the mid-season finale in October. Because she literally is throwing herself into the lap and trying to be the new Tasha. I'm like, watch. Watch what you do. You you in over your head. Just watch what happens. Then we have Ghost coming over to Angela's place. Her sister's there. He's begging to play for the funeral. She's like, after all the mess you put her through, you had her basically give up her whole life for you, saying you are going to leave her wi- your wife and marry her. I'm like, wait a minute. He wanted to marry her? Hold up. Wait a minute. What? And Ghost is like, I'm sorry, I didn't care. And she's like, liar, I know you did. And she walks off. Oh, my goodness. And this is enough to push her to sign the release papers for them to do the autopsy. And only on the condone, only on the condition that they put Ghost in jail. And they still think it's Ghost. And we see Blocker one in. And basically, she's leading the task force to find out who killed Angela. The last scene we get is Ghost going into Angie's apartment. He still got the keys. And then they play this whole scene of how all these clips of him and Angela for the past five seasons, just him reminiscing, picking out stuff to keep of hers before, you know, Pies and the family come in to pack her stuff. So that's where the episode ends off. I thought we were going to see the ghost of Angela in this episode at the end, but I think we're going to see that next week because I'm predicting they're going to have Angela be a ghost and go to subconscious like they did on Empire with Andre and Rhonda. So I'm already predicting that. Oof, my God. Overall season predictions, Tariq got to die. Tariq got to die. I think Ghost is probably going to kill him or Tariq going to kill Ghost. Even one of the two. Tommy, he going to get arrested for Angela being murdered, okay? Tommy going to go. Tasha, I feel like Tasha's going to get out alive. Definitely getting half of what Ghost made. And if I'm right, if Keisha dies, maybe she'll take in cash. She'll take in cash and help him because he, he wasn't involved in this ish at all. And even was Keisha. They brought them into this. But anyway, that is my recap of Power Season 6, Episode 1. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments and what do you expect for this season and if you're here for the new theme song or not. Anyway, you go. Peace out. My love. Have a great week.